Of course I tried to tell him, but he cranked his head without an excuse. I told him the sky chases the sun, and he smiled and said, What's the use? I was feeling like a demon again, so I said, But the ocean chases the fish. This time he laughed and said, Suppose the strawberry were pushed into a mountain. After that I knew the war was on, so we fought. He said, The apple cart, like a broomstick angel, snaps and splinters old Dutch shoes. I said, Lightning will strike the old oak and free the fumes. He said, Mad street with no name. I said, Bald killer, bald killer, bald killer. He said, Getting real mad, Fire stoves, gas, couch. I said, only smiling, I know God would turn back his head if I sat quietly and thought. We ended by melting away, heating the air. My hands did numb to beauty as they reached into death and tightened. Oh, sovereign was my touch upon the tan ink's fragile page. Quickly my eyes moved, quickly, sought for smell, for dust, for lace, for dry hair. I would have taken the page, breathing in the crime, for no evidence have I wrung from dreams. Yet what triumph is there in private credence? Often in some steep ancestral book, when I find myself entangled with leopard apples and torched mushrooms, my Cypressian skein outreaches the recorded age, and I, as though tipping a pitcher of milk, pour secrecy upon the dying page. I went to the Hotel Brugge, and it was there I imagined myself singing Ave Maria to a bunch of hoary, ligneous brownies. I believe in gnomes, in midges. I believe to convert the boogeyman, take Medusa to Kenneth's, beg Zeus, Polyphemus, a new eye. And I thanked all the men who ever lived, thanked life, the world, for the chimera, the gargoyle, the sphinx, the griffin, Rumpelstiltskin. I sang Ave Maria for the heap, for the groot, for the mugwump, for Thoth, the centaur, Pan. I summoned them all to my room in the Brugge, the werewolf, the vampire, Frankenstein, every monster imaginable, and sang and sang Ave Maria. The room got to be unbearable. I went to the zoo and, oh, thank God for the simple elephant. Where marble stood and fell into an eternal landscape, I stand ephemeral, anchored to a long season in a quick life. I am not wearied, nor feel the absence of former things, my relation to my country, the weak dreams, their weaker success, the reactions to death and lovelessness. And oh, and now I know, having had enough of her, how women suffer, and that hate which men bash against men suffers less and is with end, but a woman's loss, endless. How I wish she were yet again with all her solemnities. Our good consoling Greece, she was not the love I know. Having crossed over into her world, I became the sad unlove which separates us so. Poor America, poor Russia, thank God the moon happened them. And France, Algeria, what sad geo woe! Burnt peace as obstinate as nature seems to be the order of history. I wipe the dead spider off the statue's lips. Something there is forgotten, and what's remembered slips. Butterfly and fly and other insecti wait themselves to die. And so it's spring again. So what? The leaves are leaves again, no tree forgot. I have known the strange nurses of kindness. I have seen them kiss the sick, attend the old, give candy to the mad. I have watched them at night, dark and sad, rolling wheelchairs by the sea. I have known the fat pontiffs of kindness, the little old gray-haired lady, the neighborhood priest, the famous poet, the mother. I have known them all. I have watched them at night, dark and sad, pasting posters of mercy on the stark 
posts of despair. I have known almighty kindness herself. I have sat beside her pure white feet, gaining her confidence. We spoke of nothing unkind, but one night I was tormented by those strange nurses, those fat pontiffs. The little old lady rode a spiked car over my head. The priest cut open my stomach, put his hand in me, and cried, Where's your soul? Where's your soul? The famous poet picked me up and threw me out of the window. The mother abandoned me. I ran to kindness, broke into her chamber, and profaned. With an unnameable knife I gave her a thousand wounds, and inflicted them with filth. I carried her away on my back, like a ghoul, down the cobbled, stoned night. Dogs howled, cats fled, all windows closed. I carried her ten flights of stairs, dropped her on the floor of my small room, and kneeling beside her, I wept, I wept. But what is kindness? I have killed kindness, but what is it? You are kind because you live a kind life. St. Francis was kind. The landlord is kind. A cane is kind. Can I say people sitting in parks are kinder?